So you know I'm going to dump you in the next two minutes. I've only been dating two weeks.
want him to think you'll never be ready. Fine! You write it down that way, and you don't change it again! Fine! Sure, as long as the prima donna's happy. Did you get those flats finished yet? No. Why not? Because they won't fit out the door. What do you mean? I mean the flats won't fit out the door. Why not? Because they're too big. Oh, what the hell? Come on! Man, do you have to leave out the door? I know what I mean. So, when are you going to tell him? I don't know. Well, you have to tell him sometime. I mean, even Andy isn't that stupid. He's going to figure out something going Shut on. Shut up! Okay, but he's your boyfriend. That's right. He's my boyfriend. We've been going out for three years, so before I change it up for someone like you, I'm going to be sure about it. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Hey, just because you're feeling guilty about cheating on your boyfriend, don't start dumping on me. You don't like this situation, you can walk out any time you'd like. Oh, is that what you told Ashley? <laughs> what? You remember Ashley, don't you? She was from the last production you were in. She said you were the most wonderful guy she ever met. Right up to the moment you dumped her. We had a very interesting talk about you yesterday. What's the matter, Bonnie? Nothing to say? Uh, okay, so maybe I wasn't too nice to Ashley, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna... Mine? Ah, oh, hell, Richard. Every time we get something started, you forget your lines. It's not my fault. Then whose fault is it? Look, I got more lines than anyone else in this studio. And I've had strep throat for the past two weeks. I still can't breathe. Why don't you grow up? What's your problem? <laughs> my problem! I'll tell you what my problem is. I am stuck in this lay production with a bunch of amateurs who don't know how to act. And a director who thinks he's God's gift to theater. <laughs> this play is going to be the biggest flop in the world. And that's how I get to end my acting career. What are you talking about? You're not putting the play, are you? No. My parents' business is going bankrupt. There's no money left. I have to drop out. Can't you get a loan? I don't have any money! There just... There just isn't enough money. Cut! Okay. Beth, this time I want you to feel when you cry instead of sitting. Like it makes any difference. This thing is so confusing, no one is going to know what's going on anyway. Look, I know this is a Shakespeare, but it's going to be a great play. Yeah, right. Well, we have to try. What do you want to do, quit? Yeah. Fine, go ahead. <laughs> but you can kiss your equity cards goodbye. Don't you think I know this place sucks? But this is my first name job as director, and I'm going to make it work. And if any of you don't like it, you can go to hell. This is Smith and McCaffrey in the office. What? This is Smith and McCaffrey in the office. <laughs> my name is not Smith. <laughs> I don't know, I 
can't seem to remember who the director is. Hello? Is anyone out there? <laughs> hey, that stinking Fresnel has been trying to get you to replace for the last two weeks. Just burn for the last for our blue gels. What do you want me to do about it? Why are you talking to me? You're the director, aren't you? Oh, no, I'm just playing the part of the director in the second fake play. Second fake play? Okay, so, uh, who is the director? We're not sure. You're not sure? Yes, it's all a little confusing. Well, to find out who it is, tell him. And you press me. Blue jumps. I'm gonna get a coke. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. Someone has to remember who the director is. When we got here this morning, who else was here? Well, no one. Brad and I just were no, home from no. dinner. <laughs> oh. Brad, do you remember who the director is? My name isn't Brad, it's Steve. No, Steve is the character who played in the second play. Oh. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Oh! Right. What is it again? <laughs> Carol? No, I'm Carol. I think. Wait, I think I'm Mark, you're Tom, and he's Tony. Um, is it? <laughs> There is no play, fool. Haven't you realized that yet? 
There is no play, and there is no director. There is no reality here. Existence, identity, home, those are all just meaningless concepts. We are all just figments of someone else's imagination. You see, we get up in the morning, and we put on our clothes, and we, get, and we walk out the door. And we spend all day letting other people write lines for us, choreograph our movements, and direct our lives. They tell us what to do and what to think, and who to love and who to hate. And then one day you wake up, and you're not you anymore. You're just some stinking character in someone else's play. Now, do you understand? Understand what? Uh, oh, no, 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 that's the last line of your monologue, see? Speaking character in someone else's play. Now, do you understand? Alright. Sorry. Sorry. Now, do you understand? <laughs> Pause a little longer and sing it softer. Now? <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> no, I like it better than the first way. It has more emotion to it. Yeah, I guess it too. <laughs> you know? This reminds me of when I was a little girl. One day, I went fishing with my father. It was a bright, sunny day, and the seagulls looked like delicate little clouds. My father said we needed some bait first, so we went to this little shack underneath the boardwalk. There was this old immigrant man with a scar across his face and horrible yellow teeth. My father told him we needed a can of bait, so the old man opened, opened up a big can, and my father told me to look inside, and I did. There were thousands and thousands of worms squirming and crawling all over each other with their blind faces staring straight at me. I started screaming and screaming and then running down the beach just trying to get away from those blank faces. Finally, my father caught me and took me home. So you see, Josh, I can't marry you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's Josh? Oh. Sorry, Betty. I don't give a darn about your worms or painful skin conditions or old immigrant men. I love, I need you. I am never going to leave you. Dad! <laughs> Your son, Bobby. You thought I died in a plane crash in Venezuela 15 years ago? But I'm alive! Why did you do that? Do what? You ruined our scene! What did you want it for? Well, I needed something to do. Use your own script! And I get killed on page 25. Then use your other script, dummy. What other script? In the play. You're an actor. In the play. So. Rather than using the script for the play that you're in, use the script for the play that you're supposed to be in, in the play. Oh, I get it. But should I be a character in the play? Or a character that plays a character in the play? Or one that's both? Who um, does pretend to be lying in the streets of New York? However, she's a 
could be wealthy and handsome, but die young, or evil and smelly. I get chased by a horse, but not good. Gosh, that is a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> Someone have a line here? What happened? Sorry, folks. Won't be a minute. Just uh, to change out one of the light bulbs here. You know, uh, I was talking to Frank down at the Union Hall the other day. Yeah, what did Frank have to say? He said it was all over with. They're shutting down the plant at the end of the month. So that's it then? You're really moving it down to Mexico? Yeah, it's gonna pay him 50 cents an hour. Oh, good for them. <laughs> Too bad for us, I guess. So, uh, there's that light we got fixed. Ooh, that's a 3348. We ain't got none of those. It's not a 3348. That's on, uh, what do you call it? That's a, a Z52 halogen. That's the one. Oh, uh, no. Took all the 52s out a couple of months ago. How come they took the 52s out? And them 52s is putting out some sort of ozone leakage edge. So the EGA came in and replaced them all with the 3348s. And we ain't got none of those. My brother-in-law had some of that ozone stuff at his work. Now he's got the cancer. Damn God, I don't give a damn about the working man. The whole world's going to a stinking hell. Almost makes me wish I was back in now. <laughs> My wife left me six years ago. Now I don't even know how to talk to a woman. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, that's a 3349. It's a five pin, not an Edison. It's a fifth. Nothing fits anymore. When I was a kid, we used to have these woods in the back of my house. You know, we go there every day after school, play, you know. I went there the other day. They tore down all the trees and put up a Walmart! <laughs> my oldest kid came home for Christmas. We like strangers. Sure, we talk about the game or the weather, but we don't really say anything. Sometimes I wish I could tell them about mom. <laughs> <laughs> When I was 17, I thought I was so tough. I was gonna rule the world. Now I just want someone to hold me. <laughs> I used to know what life was about. And I went to know. <laughs> Say, Jack, I just saw something. Yeah? We never tried the light switch. We didn't, did we? Guess we don't even know if it works. Huh. Well, I guess it's kind of like life. How do you figure? You have to try to turn it on. What if you don't know how, Jack? What if you don't know how? I don't know, Nick. I don't know. <laughs> you know, this reminds me when I was Oh my god, we did that already! <laughs> so, so it was stupid the first time. <laughs> you know, this You're reminds me when I I knew he was strong, but I just stood there. I guess 
I didn't want to look like a nerd. I guess I really didn't love Bobby either. I can't believe it. He was just here. It can't be true. There has to be some sort of mistake. I just talked to him. No. The only mistake was this. There's just one thing I want to know. What's that? Who's Bobby? <laughs>
Anybody know how to get out of here? Or? Well, we can't stay here forever. We have to leave somehow. Thank <laughs> you. 